Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Monday. We got the Raiders down by a point in Cleveland while we're doing this break on uh, Monday afternoon football. Browns just drove and score 14 13. Browns, about a minute and a, three minutes left. So a lot of time, 340 left for the Raiders. A lot of time left. And plenty of time for this break as well. 2020 2021 Panini Flux Basketball, six box, half case, number six. One spot gets you two random teams. And it's a St. Nick promo. Now, for the purposes of the promo, we're just randomizing the original 15 names. For the purposes of the break, as you've seen already, we're doubling your names up. One spot gets you two teams, and all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Randomize names and teams. Two and a five. Lucky seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. All right, so after seven, let's get those names in there. Two and a five, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seventh and final time. We got the Knicks down to the Miami Heat after seven. Ooh, he airs it out. Oh, intercepted. Come on. That's brutal. All right, Danny with the New York Knicks and the Milwaukee Bucks. Kurt with the Suns. Tim with the Pelicans. David B with the Hornets. Kurt with the T-Wolves, Ron with the Hawks, Danny with the Trailblazers, Tim with the Bulls, Rick T with the Mavs, Simon with the Clip Show, Rick with the Pacers, David with the Nuggets, Danny with the Raptors, Eric with the Warriors, Simon with the Pistons, Aaron with the Jazz, Steve H with the Celtics, Kurt with the Wizards, Nate, you got the Nets, Nico with my Lakers, Aaron with the Kings, Steve with the Magic, David with the Cavs, Nico with the Rockets, Kurt with the Spurs, David with the Grizz, Nathan, Nate with the Sixers, Eric with the Thunder, and Ron with the Miami Heat. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And I'm going to pause the video. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades while we'll the break. Remember, I marked those six so we know it's all from this pick your team right here. All right, let's, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any uh, trades and then the break itself. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. After that Derek Carr interception, the Raiders were able to get the uh, get the Browns to punt and to get the ball back with just under two minutes left. So let's see what, let's see what the Raiders can do while we're doing this break. Uh, Raiders, Raiders are my team through, through thick and thin. Um... All right, big thanks to everybody here. Once again, no trades. Ton of trade chatter, though. I can't believe how much trade chatter there was without trades. All right, let's go with this one. Good luck. I like when they, uh, whenever, I like when they show the Derek Carr has had 27 game-winning drives in his career. I feel like that's not a good stat, right? I mean, there's just a lot of times that the Raiders have just been down that Derek Carr had to come back from in the fourth quarter when they should have just put away games. In the middle, though, you gotta run. You gotta spike it. No, make a play. No, they're gonna keep going. 
First and 10, a minute left. 59 seconds left. Tick, 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 tick. Another pass in the middle. What are we doing here? All right. We got an Andre Drummond, Lakers edition to 75. Cole Anthony. Oh no. Holding. Ugh. Cole Anthony, Orlando, Steve H. Lakers edition of Andre Drummond going to Nico. And we got a Jalen Brunson ultraviolet autograph. Yeah, I expected more uh, more receptions from Hunter Renfro. I guess I almost want to think that the Browns defense are like, we're not going to let Hunter Renfro beat us, especially on this drive. So what do you, what do you have time for? A big pass, spike the ball, kick? Silver Jaw Morant. We got Daniel House Jr., 74 out of 99 for Houston. That's going to be for Nico. The Jalen Brunson goes to Dallas, by the way. That's for Rick. He's been having a pretty good season this year. There's Mesosphere, Patrick Williams for the Bulls. That's a catch. So you got to spike it. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Spike it. Wow. Three seconds left. They get the kicking team on. Can Daniel Carlson do it? Wow. And we've got a numbered card, a Tim Duncan Titan, 24 out of 25. These numbered cards are not, not too common. Tim is going to go to Kurt and the Spurs. Daniel Carlson's pretty good. 48 yards. Wind slightly blowing to the right. It's up. It's through. Wait, no, did they call a timeout? No, they're saying timeout? Wow. I thought they got it off just before. I was going to say they have timeouts. They'll probably use them. I guess we'll try it again. You're not allowed to call two timeouts in a row, right? All right, Daniel Carlson, let's try this again. Drills it. I don't know if they deserve to win this game, but... I'll take it. I'll take it. 16-14 Raiders. Take it, boys and girls. All right. Good. Now I can watch the rest of Monday night football stress-free. Knowing my Raiders won next game. Do we have a do we have a Manning cast tonight? Good job. 
Daniel. No, no Manning cast. There you go. All right. Celebrating. I like that. Good. I'll catch all the post-game stuff on the interwebs. Yeah. I don't know. Chad, I don't know if the Raiders, if my Raiders deserve that win, but I will definitely take it. I will definitely take it. There's Andre Drummond, red to 99. Raiders slim. I don't even know if I want to see my Raiders in the playoffs, but their slim playoff hopes still alive. And we got a Lamella ball insert flow motion. I see what they did there. Not sure what that is. I don't know. That might be part of the design right there. It's a smudge, but flow motion, LaMelo ball. Who got randomized? Charlotte, David B. Duncan Robinson, red. Those reds are not numbered. And we've got a nice uh, full capacity Donovan Mitchell. It's the first one I've seen. I think these are really short printed. It says on the box. Yeah, ultra rare full capacity insert. Nice one for the Utah Jazz. Aaron Billingsley got randomized the Jazz. Right, right. Adams like I don't want to. He, he doesn't want to know. Like, let's say the Jets slipped into the playoffs. Would you ever? Would you want to see that team in there? I'm not sure either. Rooting for like a, a a week one a wild card weekend blowout. There's your autograph, Isaiah Roby for OKC. That's going to be for Eric C. Who are the Jets playing this week, Adam? In my I I got a first round humble brag. I got a first round buy in the playoffs in my two QB league. But my first QB is Matthew Stafford. I think he'll put up numbers. But uh, my second QB is either Teddy Bridgewater or Zach Wilson. Teddy Bridgewater, thankfully he's fine. He got out of the hospital today. But concussed. He's not going to play this week. Nice Danny Avija, by the way. Washington, Kurt. So Zach Wilson has to be my second QB in the playoffs. Jets are hosting the Jaguars. That's a good sign. You can put points against the Jaguars, right? Oh, but it's a big game for draft pick status. Right. Hmm. Maybe the Jaguars have been told by Shad Khan we're tanking the rest of the way. I want a new coach with a with a with a top pick. It's like, hey, new coach, let me hand let me hand deliver a Trevor Lawrence, a Travis Etienne, kind of exciting playmaker, and a number one pick. And a lot of money. What about you? Adam says, saying, and if you're fancy teams this week, you'll probably see James Robinson rack up points. I don't know. I thought that if they were going to do it, they should have done it against Houston, right? But, but they did not. 14 out of 99, Buddy Heal for the Kings. And I just need, I just need Zach Wilson to be, to be average. I think the rest of my team can do, can do the rest. And there is O'Shea Brissett, ultraviolet autograph for Indiana. Rick with the Pacers.
There's a Flux Silver Tyrese Halliburton, or incoming insert, that is. That is for Aaron and the Kings. We got an Anthony Davis to 75. MCL issue for him. Thankfully, not an ACL, but an MCL that'll keep him out for, I don't know, three, four weeks, another another week or so just to get back into, into playing shape. Nico with the Lakers, two out of 75. And there is the answer, Allen Iverson. Nice one for Nate and the Sixers. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. James Robinson's going to rack up points for you next week. Robinson was your only good player so far. Taysom Hill, Kamara, only 14 points combined. The other guy had Tyree Kill. Humble brag, I'm in the playoffs for both of my leagues. The... The Jaspi League, which is the PPR League, and the other league, which is the 2QB League, non-PPR. So hopefully guys that need to be healthy get healthy. I wish Tyreek Hill saved that performance for the following week. I have him in one of my leagues. I forgot to post a poll for tonight's game, but who does everyone have in tonight's tonight's matchup? So I had picked. Let's go to my Joe's picks tabs. I had uh, last night. I placed this pick. I got Vegas plus three. It ended up turning into minus three by by game time. I'm on the Bears for some reason. Bears. Uh, I got plus six. Home dogs. Let's see how that works out. For entertainment purposes only. John Moran. Autograph. Nice. Swingman. Autograph. Memphis Grizzlies. David B. with the Grizz. Nice. Ja Morant. We got a Peyton Pritchard. There's the number. 16 out of 25. Rookie influx insert for Steve and the Celtics. And a Lamelo Ball card. Nice. Julius Randle to 99. Yeah, not bad, Dave. Not bad at all. And I think you have the Charlotte Hornets too, right? You get the Lamelo base card. See if we can find some parallels of this card too. We did see that in case Titan insert last night, though. That was pretty awesome. DeMar DeRozan. I feel like that's a different parallel, but it's not numbered. Cassius Winston for the Wizards. That's for Kurt. Wait, so Adam, going going back to your fantasy football team really quick. So, what 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 do you need the rest of the the rest of the way to advance, or is your week done already? Like you just can't catch up. Yeah, how's everyone else doing with their with their fantasy teams? Like, what are you are you in the playoffs? 
in fantasy football? Are you in the playoffs? What do you need in the last three games of this week? Right? We've got uh, we've got Minnesota at Chicago tonight, and then we got two games tomorrow. I think Seahawks are playing somebody tomorrow. Rams maybe, and then Washington football team and Philadelphia. So between those games, what do you have left? Carl's Carl's up by a point. PPR. No, Adam actually has a decent chance. He's down 17, but still K.J. Osborne, Cooper Cup, Daryl Henderson, and the Rams defense to go. And the guy you're playing has Jalen Hurts and the Rams kicker. Ooh, that's going to be close. PPR or standard scoring? There's LeBron James, flux insert silver. John Collins, 99. PPR for Adam. And you have OBJ and Sony Michelle on your bench subbing if anybody ends up testing positive or something like that. Interesting. All right. Jalen Hurts is kind of like that wild card. But if it's PPR, Cooper Cup... Cooper Cup should be should be a pretty solid play there. He should get you a lot of points. And the Rams defense, if they, you know, they got Aaron Donald. I think I think I think they're healthier on that defensive side, so they could they could be opportunistic, get you some points there. I mean, that could be good. There's Devin Dotson, and that might be that might be the dub for you. For the Bulls, that's going to go to Tim Tyler. So, Carl, what about you? Carl, you've got Stafford, Scary Terry, and they have Penny, Osborne, and Cook. Ooh, and you're up by a point. That should be, that should go down to the wire, I feel like. Especially if Dalvin Cook has a big game, that could be, that could be worrisome. Be nail biting. We got Tyler Bay, Dallas, Rick with the Mavs. Last box. Jose, what about you? You were uh, in as the eighth seed, and you're about to be the top seed out of the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers and Jonathan Taylor coming through for you. Yeah, I've got I've got Jonathan Taylor in my PPR league. He may deliver a championship to me. I mean, Jonathan Taylor has really, has really just, I feel like the beginning of the season, the Colts just started off really slow. Colts started off slow. I feel like Jonathan Taylor, I mean, the offense wasn't really doing much. And then I feel like he's just exploded. Looking at Jonathan Taylor's game log here. Yeah, just 56 yards rushing, 100 total yards, I guess. You know, 51 yards week two, 64 yards week three, 100 yards in week four, and then 53 rushing, 116 receiving yards in week uh, five, and then 145 rushing yards, you know, 107. 70 plus 52 receiving, 172 yards another week, 116 and a touchdown, 185 and four touchdowns. Jonathan Taylor's just been going off. A little softer on that Tampa Bay game, still scored a touchdown. I think he scored 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He scored rushing touchdowns in the last 11 weeks. One, one week, in the, at least one touchdown every week for the last 11 weeks. 
Crazy. So, beast. Kurt's a, Kurt's a Colt season ticket holder. Only thing holding Taylor back is Frank Reich. Are you saying? Are you are you saying that Jonathan Taylor should be averaging like what, hundred and two hundred yards a game? Why do you say that? Danny said you traded for Mahomes in a keeper league. This was the first week of her playoffs. Played well. It's a good trade. There's Cam Reddish, 99. I don't, although, I don't know why that other person would trade. Why would you trade Mahomes in a keeper league? I mean, you also have to not run him into the ground. You got to keep him fresh for the playoffs. Although fantasy players probably want more production out of him. I definitely would. There's rookie autographs in flux. Tayshawn Alexander for Phoenix. Kurt with the Phoenix Suns. By the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be rising. I don't know. What I like about... I always try when I construct a, a, a fancy football team, I always want to try to get one or two players that I like to call... that I like to call weak winners, right? That one person could, could win you a week. They can get you, like... You know, 30 points in like non-PPR, 40 points in a PPR, something like that. You know, a weak winner. That's what Jonathan Taylor's turned out to be. And the last one is Zeke Najee for the Denver Nuggets. That's going to go to David B. Nice tight and encased Zeke Najee. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much, everyone, for getting into the action. Now, remember the St. Nick promo, which I said we're going to take the original 15 names, which I already had set up right here. So, thanks, everyone, for getting in, and good luck. Top two after six. One, two, three, four, five, and good luck. Sixth and final time. It's Ron and Rick, the R's. After six times, Ron and Rick, you are in. Now, you're already a winner. You're guaranteed something. Right? But now you're in the pool. You're guaranteed a prize. Could be the grand prize. Good luck with that. We'll see you for that randomizer in the next couple nights or so. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next St. Nick break. Bye-bye.